What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to boost your FPS when playing Rust on a low-end PC and laptop. This should be quite an easy tutorial, everything you need will be listed in the description below. First, we'll take a look at your in-game settings. Open up your settings and under screen, make sure to set the resolution to your native monitor resolution. In case you're using an abnormal screen resolution as I am, then make sure to use 1920 by 1080 and play in full screen mode. I have set it to windowed as it's easier to record. Turn off vSync and set the frame rate limit to a value above your screen's refresh rate but below the maximum FPS you can get. In the graphics tab, make sure to set the graphics quality to zero for now. In case you have some performance to spare after applying these next tweaks, then feel free to increase these settings later on. Make sure to set all of the other graphics quality options to a minimum, especially your shadow and water options. For low-end systems, make sure to set your draw distance to around 1600. In your mesh quality options, set the particle quality option to around 40 and the object quality option to around 85. All of the other settings can be set to a minimum for now. Under image effects, make sure to disable anti-aliasing and depth of field. Most of the other settings will not change your performance but might be distracting to some players. When this is done, Make sure to apply your changes and close the game for now. Right click your taskbar to open up your task manager. In order to reduce the CPU utilization from other programs, I suggest you to end some programs from running in the background, which you don't need when playing the game. But make sure to only end the programs from running, which you know won't break your operating system. In the startup tab, you can additionally prevent programs from starting up on system boot. When this is done, Search for Game Bar to open up the Game Bar system settings. Here, uncheck the recording option and in the Captures tab, make sure to additionally disable the background recording option. These settings will only reduce your performance. If you want to record your gameplay, then I suggest using OBS Studio or an external capture card if you lack performance. When this is done, make sure that your graphics driver is up to date. I suggest using the GeForce Experience application if you're using an NVIDIA GPU, but you can also use the AMD driver suit. Depending on how frequently you're updating your GPU, this tweak can make the biggest difference. In the Drivers tab, simply click on Download and the application will automatically download and install the latest driver. In the Home tab, select Details for Rust. Here, select this wrench icon, which will allow you to further change your options to get more performance. In addition, you can change your resolution and display mode from here too. When this is done, search for Update to open up your Check for Updates system settings window. Here, click on Check for Updates and after downloading the latest OS update, make sure to restart your PC. When this is done, right-click your desktop and select NVIDIA Control Panel. You can do the same step with the AMD driver suit. Select to add a program to customize and then add the Rust client application from the program list. Below, we will change a few settings. Make sure that the CUDA setting is set to your main GPU. Set the power management mode to prefer maximum performance and set the texture filtering quality to performance. When this is done, search for graphics settings and open up your graphics system settings. On this window, select browse and your file explorer will open up. From here, navigate to the drive on which you saved the game on. Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Rust. Make sure to select the Rust client application and then add it to the program list. Once it's added, you can change the options of the application so that the graphics preference is set to high performance. Don't forget to apply your changes. Next, I suggest deleting your temporary files as these can induce lag if your hard drive is cluttered. Search for percentage temp percentage and hit enter. This folder contains all of your temporary files, saved by your programs and should be deleted. You can safely delete everything in this folder. Some files might remain, so just leave them there. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.